Okay, so I just had to start with the little dolphin startup screen because not every instrument gives you a cutesy little dolphin splashing out of the water. So today we're going to show you the Thermo Multidrop Combi. By the way, I'm Nathan, borrowing our shop manager Steve's lab coat today so I look more official. Anyways, a lot of you are probably familiar with this instant instrument this is a dispensing powerhouse so i'm sure all of you have bobby the undergrad in your lab who can do some multi-channel pipetting for you but maybe he's not you know quite as chipper or quite as speedy as this sucker so if you need a plate in a hurry dispensed in 384 96 or even the 1500 plus format uh, this is the machine for you it can fill a plate lickety split you can select which columns you want, which rows you want. It's got a colored display for selecting your options. It's really easy to use. It really took me no time to explore it. So first of all, we're going to show you that this puppy works. Um, as you know, these are pretty uh, exciting, or maybe you don't know. There's a lot of people that run after these things, and it's, they're a big time saver if you need to fill plates like mad. And you do it... Uh, Whenever you want it, there's not a lot of setup. You drop the plate in, you press a few buttons, and it goes. So today we're running one without a cassette. Uh, you're gonna have to buy a cassette for this machine, and it's gonna be dependent upon what tube diameter you're looking for and what volumes you're wanting to dispense. So we're leaving that up to you. We're not supplying the cassette, but fortunately this still runs without a cassette. You can get a look at how it's operating and some of the functions. So just use your imagination, imagine tubes plugged into this. This is a handy dandy safety cover so that if you teach Bobby the undergrad how to use this machine, he doesn't get his fingers stuck in the peristaltic pump. So if we go to the screen, it's really simple. Uh, you select what plate you're using up here, you're selecting your volume here. You can discriminate between uh, columns right here. You can actually select the columns in your plate. We're not going to worry about that, we're going to do a full plate. So doing this is as simple as taking your 96 well plate, plopping it in the multi-drop combi, and then you're going to prime. You're going to press some prime, the prime button and let it run for just a second. Press start and boom, it is going. Maybe Bobby's fast, but Bobby's not that fast. So there's 96. Switching over to a different plate configuration is really simple. Um, you just go to the, the plate selector, choose what you have. You'll notice this actually has deep well options on it. So if you're using deep well plates, this has you covered as well. We're just going to choose the 7.5 millimeter 384 plate. And again, it's really simple. Throw your plate in here. You're going to prime it, and you're going to run it. Before I do that, though, I'm going to give you a quick shot of the volume controls. It's really simple. You've got a small or a standard tube cassette. Uh, there's volume limitations depending on which cassette you're using. The highest volume you can configure this for with a small tube cassette is 50 microliters. So, but this goes all the way down to half a microliter per well. So this is your per well volume. And then there's a standard cassette which goes all the way up to absurdly uh, two and a half, uh, two point, sorry, 2,500 microliters. So quite a substantial volume. You're not putting that uh, in every every situation. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and just run this on a small tube cassette. And again, I'll show you 384. Now with the 384, you're not actually distributing um, on the whole plate in the first pass through. It's going to pass through once and then go back one more time to fill every well. So we prime it and then we run. Oh, dispensing volume exceeds well volume. So it protected me. I just picked an arbitrary configuration and it warned me. It's still going to run, but it's kind of afraid because it's going to overflow the wells. <laughs> You'll notice this is taking a little longer. It's probably because we did a larger uh, volume per well. But it is nice when you have little warning features like that in case somebody doesn't know what they're doing with this machine. Uh, it's going to warn them that, hey, you're doing something stupid. Don't do that. All right, and there's a three to four well plate with uh, higher volumes. This is ready for your bench. It's just a matter of buying your cassette, 
installing it, and running. I will let you see there are a few settings. <clears throat> For those of you that just want to see this run, now's the time to end the video. <clears throat> if you want to see a few of the settings, though, and get into the menu, uh, we all know that Thermo's videos are way too stylized to give you the nitty gritty. Um, you can go into the settings. You can change the speed uh, of the dispense. You can change offset on the plate. So you actually see it's it, it shot over. But this is minuscule adjustments here. You can change the dispense height. So there you go. If you, if you look over here to the dispensing head, um, I'm going from lowest dispense height to highest dispense height. So you've got some options there as well. Um, you've got a pre-dispense feature. Um, from what I understand, you may want to fact check me on this, but this is actually throwing some waste fluids into this tray down here before actually dispensing. I don't believe that's before every single dispense into every well. You can even change the direction that it's going to go about your wells. How cool is that? So if you are OCD about your process, you can be. Um, in the options, you've got a few other things. You can change your communication method uh, between RS-232 and USB. Uh, you can, I guess, change your operating mode. This looks like there are other uh, multi-drop models. The Combi allows you to do a variety of things as opposed to the 384. Uh, and I'm not sure what the micro is, so you're going to have to look that up yourself. Um, you've also got some instrument settings here. And calibration, you probably want to calibrate this puppy before you use it, So, uh, especially if you're doing something really important. Instrument settings, do you want a buzzer or do you not want a buzzer? I mean, that does matter if you're going crazy all day with the beeps. Anyways, this is your options in the multi-drop combi, and this is the multi-drop combi that we currently have available. It does come with a 90-day warranty. That's to cover you in case you get this in and something isn't looking right. We want to make sure you get an instrument that's going to work for you. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope you'll watch more.